Hey everyone. This video will demonstrate how to make iPhone ringtones using SoundLab Audio Editor. Open the app and go to the Audio Editor. Select the file you want to use for making a ringtone from the track library. You can extract files in advance from videos in the album or import them from files into the track library. Here, we're using the sample files that come with the app for demonstration. Next, choose the segment you want to use as your ringtone on the waveform iPhone ringtones should be under 30 seconds, so let's select a segment that's approximately 30 seconds long. SoundLab supports adding audio effects to any segment. Feel free to experiment with different effects. Sounds good. Now, let's trim the selected segment and remove unnecessary parts. And after trimming, here's a little trick. First, click elsewhere to deselect. Then, long press the segment and drag it to the beginning of the timeline. That's it. Now, click the export button in the top right corner to generate an AAC file. Next, click share. Choose Export as Ringtone from the menu, and in the Sharing Options, locate the GarageBand icon. If you haven't installed GarageBand yet, you can download it for free from the App Store. Additionally, GarageBand may not be at the top of your Sharing Options, so swipe back to find it. Alright, export successful. Long press the Imported Project icon. Click Share in the menu, then tap the second icon. Ringtone to have GarageBand generate the ringtone. GarageBand will prompt that the ringtone should be under 30 seconds. Click Continue, then enter any ringtone name. Then click Export in the top right corner. Ignore the intermediate prompts and wait for GarageBand to complete the export. Ringtone export successful. Finally, Click Use Sound As and choose Standard Ringtone to set it as your default ringtone. All done. Let's check in the system settings. You can see that the ringtone has been set successfully. It's not too complicated, and all the features used in the above steps with SoundLab are free. Scan the QR code in the bottom right corner of the video to download from the App Store and give it a try. Until next time, goodbye.